Uh, future Michael, go ahead and put me somewhere more interesting with this green screen background. I'm not going to do that. That takes effort in editing. It is a Friday morning. Uh, I'm rushing through to get some stuff done because I laid around all morning since I woke up for the past two hours. Uh, debating about going out and deciding not to and then deciding, ah, you know what, it's been... I haven't gone out at all in month March because of snow and snow and um, almost record-breaking snow and uh, snow. <laughs> so, even though there's still plenty of snow on the ground, even though uh, there will be a little bit of snow showers today, um, here in a little bit in town, I'm going out of town to the next town over because my significant other, Bonnie, has informed me of something I might be able to see that she sees on her way back and forth from work. And also... And that's it. So yeah, I'm getting ready to go. Uh, we'll just see. This will be a short trip out because uh, it will be snowing and it's not ideal conditions and I don't feel like walking through a foot of snow. So I'm just going to go see if I can find anything. If not, then this is just an excuse to get out and go scout around and see if this would be a spot to see something when there isn't snow. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else. Well, we have gone out. We've been out for over an hour, uh, driving back and forth basically across the highway. Uh, I was hoping that I would see what I was out here to see, and then I'd be able to stop and take video and everything and be able to explain what it was and kind of keep it a surprise up until then. But if any of this gets used, uh, I have heard uh, from my significant other body, uh, there are prairie dogs which makes sense, out on the plains there and everything, and she sees them in a specific spot, kind of near off the highway when she's coming home. So I went there, and I've gone twice. It's not it's not like back in Georgia, where it's like, oh, just go to the next mile up to the next exit. No, it's, it's you know, 20 miles there and back, so going and turning around and coming out, there's a few spots, but anyway, it's, it's a whole ordeal. So I'm trying it one more time. I'm going to see, because the snow is starting to come down, I'm going to see if I can see anything. I haven't seen, like... She said she's seen them before the snow, you know, out there with their little mounds. And then with the snow, they have uh, come and dug out from their mounds. So I feel like it should be easy enough to spot. But I also have to keep my eyes on the road so I can only look over so often. And, you know, there's not that many cars. It's not a very populated place. But the snow is coming down. We're going to give it one more shot. If I see something, I will stop and pull over and take video and be able to do everything. If I don't see anything... That's it. Then. it. It was still a nice morning out. It's still cool. I saw plenty of pronghorns. So many. I've never seen herds in such numbers before. But I believe it when I uh, I looked it up when I first moved here. I was like, ooh, pronghorns. I've heard of those. And I looked it up and they went, oh yeah, they outnumber the people in Wyoming. Like two to one, I want to say. Don't quote me on that. I don't. It's been a long time since I read that. But I think there's over a million and there's like 500,000 people in the state of Wyoming. But I'll have to double check that. Anyway, let's go see what I can see. So, didn't see anything today, but 
still good to get back out. Like I said this morning, it's been all month and I haven't gone out at all. Got new camera equipment I'm itching to use, but weather has prevented me from going out safely. It's okay. We got we got all summer coming up. And I've been planning it. I started uh, I started writing everything down, finding places to go. Now that I have a state park pass, state park pass, uh, I'll go to a couple different state parks. I found a few other areas I can check out that are a little bit further away. It'll be longer trips, but that's what I'm planning towards. I found uh, I started putting together a wish list on Amazon of um, stuff that I need to get for longer trips, like I'm gonna need a sleeping bag, and how do I carry extra things, and like car stuff and what do I eat when I'm out there and it's gonna be a whole bunch of adventuring and me remembering the last time I went camping when I was uh I don't even know how old very young not not boy scouts but the cub scouts that was the last time I went camping I woke somebody up when I came home. Somebody was upstairs sleeping. Anyway, that's, uh, I'm gonna go f finish up editing footage and things like that then, instead of going out today. I uh, still got the rest of the weekend. It's only, from what I saw in the forecast today, it's only gonna be a little bit of snow and then full cloud coverage, which really, if the snow was so light, I wouldn't care about it that much because I can cover some stuff up or I could take the blind and then I'm in it. But, but the fact that there's, it's full cloud, there's no sun, that makes it a little bit more difficult. So that's it for today. And I'm just gonna spin around until I get dizzy. And then I have to go put away all my stuff.
we're going. We're good. Oh, that's better. <clears throat> good morning. I am already in the car and on the way. Uh, I did try something different this morning. I have uh, an old GoPro that is on a, uh, a clip that I put on a hat. So maybe that came out while I was loading the car up and stuff to show a little bit of what that's like, but I doubt it. Um, I also had to clear the car off of about an inch of snow that we got overnight. Uh, and, and then I took my hat off for most of it because my neighbors came out so that they could go to work and I didn't want to be filming them without their permission or make a whole thing. They're nice people. I don't want to start anything. So anyway, yeah, I got, uh, I got up and got ready to go, put everything in the car. We're headed out to a new spot today. Um, I've been looking up some, some more places that I can start going, especially when the weather gets a little bit better. It's not great yet. It's still, still winter here at the end of March. Uh, but it's, it's not been too bad. Like I said, I cleared the car, but it was just, it's just fresh powder. So you just brush it off. I don't have to scrape anything. It's not ice, which is nice. The roads are fine. They're mostly, they were still warm. It's been warm and sunny the rest of the week. Um, it tends to just, it, it seems to be weekends. Weekends are when the snow happens. Maybe that has something to do with less people creating more heat because they're not out and about doing things they're all at home but that doesn't make any sense because you're still going to make heat as there's less cars on the road but i don't think that's how weather works but i don't know uh let's see reduce speed watch for wildlife slick roads well it said dry when i checked the conditions online before i left but either way we're going slow because yes it is well, this says it's 30 degrees, but that's definitely not what my phone said, which is interesting. Not sure I can trust the, the car one as much. It's also been heating up now for uh, like a half an hour while I was getting everything good and ready to go. Anyway, I'm just now getting ready to leave town. I'd say you could see, but the more I talk, the more this window fogs up, so you're not going to be able to see anything. It's okay. The GoPro that I uh, had on my head is now on a mount on the window out the front. Maybe that comes out. I tried that before and had problems with the battery and I got new batteries because it is like 10 years old. I need to find a, uh, a way to mount this camera that is on a tripod in the passenger seat and I'm just holding it because even with the tripod it'll still go back and forth depending on how the car shifts. So I'm going to look into that at some point because it is considerably easier rather than having to stop everything and then record what I need to talk about, it would be far easier to uh, to have it mounted and I could go while I'm doing this. At the very least, I'm not going to handhold it or anything. My hand's resting here, but I am focused on the road, which, especially in conditions that are not ideal, is ideal. Okay, yeah, that's it. I'm just starting to repeat myself. We're going to a new place. It's a reservoir. Uh, I've been looking up different places to go. I found this one. Uh, I know that people go there to see birds uh, through another bird watching app. So we're going to go see what this one is like and see if it's a good thing. And even though there's snow all over the ground, hopefully there won't be too much that I have to trek through to get to a good spot.
Okay, <clears throat> I am here. We have arrived. I found, I think, a good place to get out. Uh, I saw some people already walking across the dam, which is what I was curious about from looking online at the satellite images to see if I could get across the dam to the other side because the sun will be coming up from over there. So I'd like to see all of this. There's plenty of birds on the water. Um, there's also someone here with a German Shepherd that's barking at me because it saw me drive up. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get over there before the dog scares away all the wildlife. Uh, let's go.
Good afternoon. Now oh, you're not going to be able to see me. It's too bright. There we go. A little better. It's still too bright outside, but that's fine. Uh, let's see. It's been a few hours, uh, about four hours since uh, since I got here. Not bad. Uh, not super great or anything this place is very popular as it turns out very very popular there's probably 50 or 100 people here right now all in all uh mostly fishing it seemed to be lots of people fishing i think i counted 20 or 30 people on the other side of the dam waiting and fishing and then uh a lot more out in boats further down, I assume the river, they weren't where I was. I was up on the top of the dam in the reservoir. Uh, when I got here, there was plenty of waterfowl and birds and things of that nature. Uh, but they mostly went the other side of the water. Not just directly away from me, which would have been one thing, but way off to the side where I couldn't really see much of any of them. So I was figuring, I was like, here's a, a calculated risk. Um, they'll come back. Once I get settled in, it makes sense that I would scare some of them off. There's also people fishing on that part. But once, uh, and the, the dog, like I mentioned before, I think those people who uh, had the dog were just camping. I don't know. They were just there. There, there, was, there was a dog. It was, I thought at first, honestly, trying to get my attention, like something had happened, but I wasn't going to go investigate the large barking dog when there were other people around anyway, so. Anyway. Yeah, I uh, positioned myself where I knew the sun would be good, and the sun was good, and we had, uh, after the clouds kind of cleared up, there was, there was nice, plenty sun, and if I had had the wildlife there, I would have been able to see it. <laughs> it wasn't a total loss, there were still a few things. Um, there was just the cutest little chipmunk that I got to see twice. Once a little bit further away, and then it came right up next to where I was, which was just awesome. So I did, I got to see the chipmunk. There were all kinds of birds and gulls flying overhead that I did my best, but you know how it goes at this point is when you're trying to shoot up in the sky, it's real tough to get any kind of detail besides the silhouette because you're trying to overpower. There's just so much light, all the blue of the sky. It's just very, very bright, and you're trying to get light onto a subject that is less powerful than the sun, obviously. A bird usually isn't a light source. Anyway, what I did get to see that hopefully came out, even though it was up in the sky, pretty cool though, was a bald eagle. Those are uh, definitely more common here than they ever were back in Georgia. It was just kind of gliding along, riding the thermals along the river, hoping I would see it dive down after something, but it didn't happen. It was just, you know, kind of hanging out, just going along about its day. So we shall see what, uh, what if anything comes out from that. At the very least, those two things were nice. Seeing the bald eagle really was, that was not that long ago. That was right at the end. And the wind started picking up, which was blowing the blind all over the place. Well, uh, it's actually pretty funny. I got, I, I, I called it, I was done. I was like, well, let me, let me set up the camera. I'm trying to think more of, you know, while I'm already out there, it doesn't hurt anything to, you know, to be thinking about it in more ways than one. I was so very focused before, and I got, I'm not trying to say I've gotten better at it, but I just think in a more of like, what am I doing? How can I show this? So anyway, I set up the camera to do, uh, I guess a time lapse of me breaking everything down. But the first thing that happened is 
uh, I, I set up the camera and I ran over and pressed record and then I was going to go back and get the blind and the blind starts blowing away and I have to go run into it and go no 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 and then I get everything done I get everything packed up and I go alright time to grab the camera and I came over to get this one again which I just had on a tripod on the ground and right at that moment it goes and falls over because the wind blew it so I managed to get there like 10 seconds after it fell but uh, I think it recorded all of that we'll see I also put the GoPro this morning. Hopefully any of that came out here on the car and then put the drive home as well. It's just beautiful out. I mean, it's not th this just this landscape. Right now I'm driving down a highway and there's just open field plains to the left of me, plains to the left, to the right. Dang it. I was going to do that in song. I'm not stuck in the middle, but I was just going to say there's snow-covered mountains ahead, which is pretty cool. Whether or not any of that comes out with the little GoPro, I don't know play around with it and see. I already know the uh I talked about it on the on the drive here, but getting some kind of mount for this DSLR here. It's mirrorless. But anyway, the camera I'm using right now to talk into, which I've just now realized the mic is there and I'm talking this way. So I don't even know if any of this is gonna get picked up very well. Thankfully I'll be I'll have a somewhat solution for that. I'll have to play around with it. It didn't uh it didn't come in the mail yesterday the way it was supposed to, but it got delayed in shipping, which happens. Uh, so maybe Monday? I doubt it'll get delivered over the weekend. But anyway, I ordered a uh, wireless mic system so that I could... Well, that's a big one. Ah. Oversized load indeed. It's big uh, bales of hay. It's big ones. Anyway, yes, I ordered a wireless system because uh, there's all kinds of people trying to pass. Thank you. It's just a two-lane highway here. And I turn, come around the corner a little bit, and it seemed like everybody was in my lane. <laughs> they were passing somebody going slow in the other one, but multiple people <laughs> were in this lane. Anyway, ordered a wireless mic system. Uh, the, I'm working on right now the, the current focus in addition to I've got you know new lens which is great really enjoyed using that that's being able to adjust one or the other I can either do focus or I can do zoom I found out I actually do have the ability to do one or the other because of the, uh, the handle that I'm using the grip that controls it through the link cable um, that's that's already boom done I can either control my focus if I, if I want to have a shot where I'm zooming in and out great if I want to have a shot where I've locked down my my zoom and I want to and I want to just adjust the focus, I can do that with the back end instead of having to do both hands. Super great. So the next thing I want to work on is audio. Um, I found out I found a couple of things that I want to save up for to improve the audio quality of what I'm doing. I was just using a shotgun mic on the camera, and then if you've listened to any of the uh, any of the clips that actually have sound, you'll hear me breathing, you'll hear me moving the camera, you'll hear the camera making noise. It's not great. And it makes sense. I need to move it off the camera and somewhere else. But I didn't want to be limited by the fact that however long of a cable I put onto it, it's just kind of annoying. So I got a wireless system for that. Uh, all of this started with the fact of the wireless system, which I'll have to see. Uh, <clears throat> it comes with a lavalier mic, so I can attach it to my shirt and be talking into that right now it does add an extra step though i don't know if i would be able to i will have to play with it and see because the way i've got it hooked up the way i will have it hooked up when it comes in is to run into a separate recorder where i can adjust all my settings and then the wireless system is just to send the signal to the camera so i have a thing so that a i can sit there and listen to it with my headphones and b i can sync it up with the better quality rather than going through the wireless. I assume wireless will be lesser quality than a straight plugged in. So I'll take the recording off of that and sync it up with whatever I have for the audio. Now to do that for me talking and doing it with this camera, which is not a camera that accepts a big XLR plug, it's going to be interesting. That's why I'm like, ah, we'll see. If it works, great. If it doesn't, I'm not. And I'm, I'm sure I'll figure out a way and another purchase, but for the time being, just having one shotgun mic will have to do I have already picked out some uh, specific mics to capture like ambient sounds. You get two of them and you put them in a cross pattern, a specific type of pattern that I do not remember that I'm driving and I don't have it in front of me. 
from what I've Googled, but there is a specific pattern to pick up a lot of stuff. So if I could do that, I could put it 15, 20, 50 feet away from me. I can set it somewhere, hide it if I need to, if I'm worried about somebody messing with it, and then send a wireless signal, supposedly hundreds of feet away. I don't really plan on it being that far away, but it's certainly an option. This is nice. There's a little bridge there. And by little, I mean that's a big bridge. I'm sure you could drive on it. And a bunch of people over there probably fishing along the river as well. Fishing's a big thing here. A lot of people do that, it seems to me. I'm sure they're, I'd ask them and they'd go, what else do you do in Wyoming? But, hey, I have gigabit internet. I can do anything I want <laughs> Yeah, there's somebody on a boat. Anyway, I think that pretty much wraps it up for today. Uh, it's a good day. It's a good, it, an interesting spot. I might go to the same spot again, but just further away. Where I was <clears throat> across the water is the best place in the morning, obviously, because where the sun is rising at this time of year. But if I were to go further along where the wildlife actually was, I had to go up and over this massive hill that I did not want to lug a hundred pounds worth of equipment. And it's only going to get more when I start bringing the audio stuff too. Most of it's in the backpack, but I'm going to need, I'm going to bring my old tripod. Now that I got the new tripod, new tripod amazing by the way. Really happy with that. It makes it much smoother, I get a lot more control, it's way more stable. It's almost like you get what you pay for. And when I was buying a $300 tripod, you, that sounds great, but then I'm putting $10,000 worth of camera equipment onto it. Now it's more like $15,000 worth of equipment onto it, but now the tripod is like $1,500, so multiples going up. It's a very nice tripod, quite happy with it. Looking forward to uh, being able to use it a lot more. Anyway, yeah, time for a drive home. Eh, it's all dark anyway. Hopefully all this came out, and if not, I'll look about trying to find a way to mount it to the dash so at least the microphone is pointing towards me when my face is pointing towards it. We'll see. Anyway, bye!